Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Gibbous a Cthulhu Adventure. We are in the Finman house. We've just spoken to this guy here, Finman himself, and he's requested a drink from us for us to be able to continue. Now, I was wondering if it was the coffee. I don't think it is, although I believe we will need this coffee for something, but we're going to need something to pick it up with. Um, so, can we... No, we can't head up the stairs, I don't think. We can try. Stairs leading up to the rooms. Holmstein must be up there. Oh, it's Olmstein who's up there. Man, I really want to walk up them right this instant. Yeah, but we can't, can we? I'm afraid I can't do it without Finman's permission. All right, so I, I don't think there's anyone in here. Hello. Okay then. I think that's just a costume. Um, it probably won't be, but we'll see. So I wonder if we've got to then go somewhere else to get another drink because we traded the Doctor Fisher already. Uh, there's a trash can maybe we can search the trash can or something i know there was another street over to the left that i saw when we were over there at the beginning of the last episode of the urban decay school of design very nice uh can we maybe open it stinking up the place not that it's an exception or anything <laughs> oh rude fascinating wonders might await deep in its smelly confines but i won't be the one to discover them okay so we can't then can we go to the dark alley it gets really dark that way really dark yeah i guess we probably don't want I to i don't like that alley not at all no okay so one it's dark as heck two no reason to go down that way three did i mention how scary it looks I mean, it doesn't Four. seem to be scaredy cats are not necessarily felines <laughs> hey we need to stay on target. Doesn't seem to be bothering this dude, though. He's, you know, wandering in and out of it. Oh, even darker alley. Wow. I guess we don't want to go this way either. Oh, brother. This one's even darker. Nope, not going down there. Okay, we're definitely not going down there. Uh, so then, uh, the only place I can really think of getting a drink then is maybe down here. Because we haven't been down here yet. So let's head down this way and see what we've got. Uh. This looks like the docks area then. Uh, there's barrels of fish, barrels of a basket of fish. Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe oh, maybe the old drunkard's got some alcohol we can get. Why do they just let it rot in there? Surely people prefer it fresh, right? I, I mean, I don't even know. In what fish do breath. they do with all the stinking fish? Who buys this stuff? Good question. My stomach turns just at the thought of it. <clears throat> okay, so we're not going to pick it up ourselves then. Uh, I don't want to talk to Kitty. I was looking at the basket of fish. A rotting basket full of putrid fish. Or the other way around. <laughs> Could be the basket, I suppose. Leaving these poor things out to rot must cater to some depraved exotic tastes. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking it probably isn't for that reason. Ugh. Okay, uh, right, old drunkard. Let's speak to the old drunkard. It's an old drunk sailor chilling in that rope coil. Right, okay. Man, one day I'll grow a beard just like his. <laughs> it, he has got a bottle, so... Sick calves, bro. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to him. Can we have Hi your drink? There, Gramps. Get lost, uh, my name's Buzz. My name's Buzz. Nice to meet you. Get on out of here. Fish. Fish methane. No place for you, boy. Of course. Well, at least you fish methians are consistent about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what a great evening to be alive, isn't it? What a great evening to be alive, isn't it? <sighs> you think I'm crazy, don't you? No. Where'd you get that idea? Drunk. <sighs> Old Zadok knows. Yeah, you should not be drinking that. You should not be drinking that, old timer. Who, who, who are you to tell old Zadok what to do, sonny? Go, get. You think I'm crazy, don't you? No, I really don't. I hate to come across as judgmental, but do you really want to spend your twilight years in an alcohol-induced stupor? Yeah, think about it's it. It's not a choice, sonny boy. If you'd have seen what these old eyes have seen, I tell you. Tell me. Nah, rather drink, boy. <laughs> Whiskey makes one forget. Does it now? Uh, you said you want to forget. Why not remember? You said you wanted to forget. Why not remember? 
There's things too uh, horrible to be remembered by. Believe all Zadok. Okay. Why you think I'm crazy, don't you? No. I don't know why you insist on asking me that. I do not think you're crazy, Grandpa. Uh, really need that drink, huh? Really need that drink, huh? <sighs> I... I'm willing to do you a world of good and take that cursed whiskey off of your hands. Have you considered a healthier alternative? What you babbling about there, boy? Uh, oh, I wonder if it's the coffee. Maybe we need to give him the coffee in exchange. Let's just try the options, though. How about tea? Nothing like a warm cup of tea to relax you and get you in a mood for a chat. I can stand that stuff. I've been a fisherman all my life, boy. It was just water. Water, water, all the time. I ain't putting that water down concoction in me, no, sir. Kinda got a point there. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be the coffee, isn't it? How about soda? Soda? <laughs> Why that sugar water, son? <sighs> Health alternative, my soul to behind. Can't argue with that. All right, nothing with water in it, apparently. How about coffee? I never touched the stuff. Never even smelled it. You've never smelled coffee? <laughs> Not in my life, boy. Wow, you're missing my out. My rest us all. She tried to get my peppy to drink it. Left the old hooch. But my peppy wasn't having any of it. Tixivalettel is the devil's drink. Then he dunk another whiskey. <laughs> Lord rest him. That's a story to remember. Fantastic guys. story. 10 out of 10. Uh, how about orange juice? How about orange juice? <laughs> hey, no orange juice in fish, my sonny boy. You're more likely to squeeze juice out of a calamari. Yeah. And you don't want to taste that, Trussell Zadok. Yeah, I'll, I'll take your word. I was literally going to say that. So you've never tasted or smelled coffee in your life? So you never tasted or smelled coffee in your life? Not in my life, son. Couldn't tell it apart from gasoline. It's a... Um, it's a question <laughs> of pinsome. A print... <coughs> Principle. That's the one. Okay. I gotta run. Coffee Bad it is. Boy. Never return. We're gonna return. Don't you worry about that. We're gonna return with some coffee for you. Because you're gonna need it. Right. Uh, oh, there's more down here. Okay. A strangely shaped reef. Almost an island, really. Yeah. There's really no way around it. It looks like a pair of horns surfacing from below. Does it? I'm not sure I see it that. for a striking sunset scene, I must admit. It, it does, that is true. Um, can we look at the... We can look at the boat. Can we get on a the boat? A rusty, creaking fishing boat that's seen better days. It has. Deep one. Should have been a sub. Deep one, okay. It looks like it's barely staying afloat, much like most stuff around here. Yeah. i can probably say that again. Uh, sea captain. Oh, look, there's a sailor. There's quite a few people over here. What's this wreck about? Let's check out the wreck first. Looks like the oldest ship anchored in Fishmouth Harbor. If only it could tell its tales. Can it? Oh man, people actually brave the sea aboard these wooden coffins. Crazy. Pretty crazy. Man, I'm glad I'm not a sailor. Why? What's wrong with sailors? Uh, okay, so we should we talk to the sea captain then? Oh, an actual sea captain in the flesh. She even smells like one. What does a sea captain smell like? She's really into what she's reading over there. It's the newspaper, isn't it? Ahoy, that your ship over there? She ain't going nowhere anytime soon, lubber. Frankly, I'm flattered you'd call me that, but uh, I don't think we've met <laughs> before. Leave your bills, rat. Oh, okay, understood. Why? Oh, not the conversational type then. Uh, what about Mr. Sailor over here? I'm guessing he's probably too what asleep. What is it about sailing that turns people to alcohol? Good question. How'd he get up on that stool anyway? And why? Climbed? A vast to you, landlubber. A vast to you too, kind sir. No, oh, okay. <laughs> That's the end of that conversation then. Uh, right, so the sea captain, it turns out, has nothing to say. So we're going to need to get the coffee for this guy. I don't know that we have anything that we can actually pick it up with, though, in all honesty. Um, hmm. We've been that way. Is, is there anything we can use around here? I mean, unless we can get the milk. Maybe the milk... 
or whatever that was in I think it was milk wasn't it maybe that's what the Finman wants to drink well it's probably not uh, maybe Tad would like this sandwich maybe Tad would like this sandwich oh thanks Buzz he'll love it don't mention it right so that's what we wanted back that for. dolphin milk now sure here you go <gasps> we've got dolphin milk okay that was it the dolphin milk so I wonder see ya Annie later Buzz given that um the old drunken dude doesn't know what coffee smells or looks like could we just tell him that the dolphin milk is coffee <laughs> that could work right Sh should we give it a go <laughs> I don't think I should give him plain milk okay that w that won't work hmm can we? No. I gotta run. Okay. Run, unless. Boy. Never return. Yeah, you said that before, but I'm gonna return. So unless we can maybe mix the milk in with the coffee, maybe we can do that to cool it down or something. Did he say it was too? He said it was. Did he say it was too hot to handle? I can't, I can't even remember to be honest. Maybe you did. We'll give it a go anyway. Uh. Should we try this? Hmm, not in the pitcher though. No, so it seems like we need some sort of a cup then. Nothing to pour it in. Yeah, so we need something to pour it into. Uh, hmm. Hmm. So we don't... That's just a label. That's the cookie. Seems like we need to give him the cookie and the alcohol, but... Gonna need something to to pick it up. Can we go through here? No, we've had a look at that already. Uh huh. There must be somewhere that we haven't been then. And I mean oh wait. Didn't they have mugs in here? Wasn't that one of the gifts? Yes, it was coffee mug. Okay. Right. We know what we want. We want the coffee mug. About that going away gift. I think you made a wise decision. Yes, the coffee mug, please. I'll have the coffee mug. And, uh, interesting choice, sir. Yeah. There you are. Thank you. Yes, excellent. Right. We're on a roll now. We're on a roll. There's our nice little coffee mug. Uh, I'll see you later. Be seeing ya. I wish you would reconsider. Good day. Good day to you too. Right, out we go. So let's head back now and get the coffee. The question is, do we want to water it? Well, not what, not water it down. Do we want to put the milk in it? I guess maybe we do. Right, anyway, we've got the coffee now. Excellent. So perhaps we now... Let's, well, let's try giving him the coffee without the milk. And then if he won't, if he won't drink it, then we can try putting the dolphin milk in, right? I wonder if we need some oil in there as well once he's drunk it. Possibly. Let's see. Would you like this mug of coffee? Mr. Zadok, I brought you something. What is it, boy? It's delicious coffee. coffee. What? Get the gosh darned abomination out of my face. <gasps> yes. He's got more than one uh, bottle. This gives me an idea. Oh, that one's... Huh. I gotta run. run so boy. never return. So he's dropped the bottle. Right, okay. So can we Yep, okay. Exotic liquor, right. So can we just put the oil in and make him think that it's alcohol? <laughs> Is that gonna work? Nah, I don't need any oil. No, okay. Maybe we can just put the coffee into the the bottle then? So we didn't really need the mug, did we? <laughs> At all, apart from to get him to throw the bottle. It's a bottle of coffee disguised as rare exotic liquor. Nice, okay. So hopefully that's going to work then. So let's head back again to the docks and we'll try and give him this now that it's in here.
Mr. Zadok brought you something to drink. Well, what is it? Alcohol. It's a special kind of liquor. Very exotic import. Liquor? Yeah. Says so on the label. Have a taste. Why, you dug a little... You almost had me there. You know, uh, it really had a sort of appealing odor to it. But the taste... Ugh. Never in my whole seafaring in life have I come across something that smelled so enticing and tasted so foul and bitter. <laughs> Whatever that abomination is, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. <sighs> All right, Mr. Zadok. I'll try and find you something better tasting. Go on, get... So maybe we do need I gotta run. the dolphin milk in there run, as well. Boy. Never return. So let's try that then. Let's let's pick this up. Has it still got wait, hang on. Has it still got the coffee in it? Yeah, it has. Right, so we okay. So maybe we can just try this again. Mr. Zadok, got you a little something. Mm, what is it? It's a special kind of liquor. Very exotic import. Liquor? Says so on the label. Now, don't expect it to taste like regular hooch. It's very exotic. Supposed to have a real kick to it. Here you go. Drink this. L let me see that. <sighs> smells like nothing I ever smelt before. And I can't say it's bad either. Woohoo! Look at that. What is this double be, boy? Kinda got me feeling all fluttery inside. Special import. Supposed to really get you going. I'll say. Why, I feel refreshed as ever. It's like, it's like this curtain slowly lifting off of me eyes and mind, son. <laughs> Ooh, you done all Zadok a mighty good one. Can you get me more of this stuff? I'll let you know what it is and where to get it. But I'd like that bottle of whiskey in return if that's alright with you. Ah, take it. Yes, all right, we did stuff. it. I can safely say this has been a full-fledged epiphany, Buzz. Excellent. So we've got the whiskey now, so we can go back to Finman. Hey, you remember my name. Thanks. Not a problem, son. Boy, do I feel good. I just might get up and walk around a little You should do that. Good to hear, Mr. Zadok. Now that you're refreshed, care to tell me a bit about Fishmouth? What is it you want to know, Buzz? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. Um, why is everyone so secretive here? Why is everyone so secretive here in Fishmouth? Where do I begin, my friend? See, you're stuck of a curse that runs through most of Fishmouth's residents' blood. Turn mm. them into fish and toad-like things. And then they dig to the water. But that's not even the worst thing. You'd think that's the worst thing, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, there's worse. And I've seen it with my own two eyes, hanging around the abandoned factory up Elliot Street. Seen them, hideous fishmen and octopus-like monsters. Caught a glimpse of them in the moonlight. Really? Heard their awful noises. Horrible. It were horrible. The curse. Nah, Buzz. It weren't the curse. These things were not born this way. They was mutants. Abominations. Cobbled together from fish and man and squid. The butcher. That's who they whisper made those things. Who's the butcher? <sighs> I don't know that, Buzz. But I suppose it's some shady character that's in cahoots with the esoteric order of Dagon. Really? They're raising hell in a fishmouth. Raising hell. Literally. How can I get to this abandoned factory? You can't now. They've shut off those streets. In preparation for the evil festival. Have they now? Okay, well, I'll see you later. I'll see you later, Mr. Zadok. Because God we are you, out Take of care. time. So we're going to carry on talking to Mr. Zadok next time. Nice guy, Aura Restored. We've got an achievement for that as well. Um, yeah, so we'll carry on talking to him next time and find out a bit more about Fishmouth. But those um, monsters sounded a little bit like Cthulhu, didn't they? 
So, I don't know. We'll see what happens next. But as, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, and Terminally Nerdy for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it. And join our little point and click community as that we're building here. walking down Paradise Street to me way, hey, blow the man down. A pretty young damsel that chance for to meet. I give me some time to blow the man down. She was round in the counter and bluffing the bow. Way, hey, blow the man down. She took in all sail and cried, Way enough now. Give me some time to blow the man down. So what? Well, and I'll see you all next time. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs>